Following one of the most heart-wrenching breakups in Bachelor Nation, on After the Final Rose, Gabby confronts Zach about how she felt strung along. Hey guys, it's Kayla Thompson. Welcome back to another Shared News video. Before we unpack what Gabby had to say to Zach on AFR, consider giving this video a like, subscribing to our channel, and hitting that notification bell so you're always up to date with what we talk about here on Shared News. Hearts around Bachelor Nation broke tonight, watching Gabby wrestle with so many emotions after Zach ended things with her in Thailand. And after so many assurances from him throughout the episode, and mainly her final date, I don't know about you guys, but I was kind of leaning towards him maybe picking Gabby. I mean, it was very close, but the episode definitely had me thinking, oh, he's he's probably gonna choose Gabby. So when she was the first to step out of the limo in that gorgeous yellow dress, my heart genuinely sank. And it was definitely one of the toughest breakups to watch. I mean, yeah, probably a close second or maybe one right above would be Michelle's breakup with Brandon. I mean, the moment Zach said, but in his little speech, she just said, I already know you don't have to say anything more. And she really did not want to hear anything more. She started walking off. She said she just wished he had just told her before. And he swore to her he didn't know until the morning. But keep a pin in that. She got in the limo. She drove off truly heartbroken, hurt, and confused. And even on After the Final Row, she was clearly still very hurt, very upset. And when Zach came out for their final closure conversation, she started by saying how challenging it was to watch Fantasy Sweet Week back. She said, what's challenging is we both had very positive moments that week. She was disappointed with how things were aired because it was a consensual moment that they shared and that they decided was going to be between them. She dropped a pretty huge bomb on us saying that while she was brushing her teeth, Zach came and kissed her on the back of her head and said, this stays just between us. And so with that being said, when he came to her hotel room the next day saying he was gonna share the information, she was genuinely very blindsided. And again, this is pretty huge because I think that Zach telling her in this fantasy suite that it would stay between them and then taking it back just for his own relief of conscience was just, kind of made everything really, just kind of made it worse. She continued on saying, I didn't know you shared it with everyone and used my name until last week when I watched it back on the show. And I feel so ashamed. Just gut-wrenching because I think we can all agree that she should not feel ashamed at all. Honestly, the only one who should probably feel shame about that whole situation is Zach, because I think it really is on him. Jesse definitely let Gabby have priority to share her emotions and her thoughts. And before they started running out of time, she definitely got a chance to add that she wished he would have just sent her home instead of putting her through all that pain. She thought it was more than just a TV show to him and that it was an act of love between the two of them. And before they did cut to commercial break, Zach got a chance to respond saying, the way I handled things was completely wrong. I felt like I needed to let everyone know I went against my word and I was wrong. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt you. You could tell that they definitely ran out of time. I think if you watched the live show, you know good and well that they ran out of time as they had some technical difficulties with the sound and had to rewind a part of Gabby's date. So they were a little behind in the AFR. That kind of led me to feel like Gabby and Zach really ran out of time to completely get the closure they wanted. They didn't really feel like they ended on the best note that they could have. Gabby was clearly still very upset, very hurt about how things ended, how things went. And I'm not going to lie, I felt so hard for Gabby that I couldn't really shift my emotions to be all that giddy for Zach and Katie getting engaged. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but it was just hard to pivot emotions. I was just kind of not really feeling the proposal as much as I probably could have. But I truly wish for Gabby to keep finding the peace and healing and self-confidence in herself and the love story that she deserves. But I wanna know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. Did you feel for Gabby the way I did? Were you kind of upset with Zach the way I was? Also, don't forget before you go to give this video a like, 
subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when we upload any videos. I'm Kayla Thompson and I would love to talk more on my Instagram or my TikTok, so come check me out over there. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.